with all my friends that we grew up together, that's what we wanted to do. We said we was going to make it in football. So I really dug in deep and started to play, and I really started to see God open a lot of doors for me. When I first met Lake Seastrunk, I thought that he was a very dynamic kid. I thought he was a kid who had the, the potential to be probably the top running back in this year's draft. And so I just felt that if Lake Seastrunk put in the time, the effort, go. and the energy, if he pulls it all together, he can be a very, very, very dynamic running back at the next level. You don't know. It's the unknown. You don't know where you're going to get drafted to. You don't know what round. You don't know anything. Only thing you can do is train as hard as you can, put sweat and tears in the bucket, and, and pray that you go where you want to go. Where I'm from, from Temple, Texas, grew up in a small town, and you know, we're not really having a lot. Father is in, you know, in jail, and there's nothing you can do about that. My mom is always you know, number one in my heart, but never really had the best of relationships with her, but we're trying to get that. My grandparents, my anime Harris and John D. Harris, they shaped me to be man. Being on time and always looking a man in the eyes, shaking his hand firm. That was through my granddad's strength. I was actually in special needs classes growing up, so I had a lot of a lot of a lot of doubters. People thought I was slow, but I graduated high school. A very, very, very proud moment of my life. Cause the people have this perception of me like, oh you're gonna be like your dad, you're gonna be like your mom. I chose a different path, chose a better path. The only thing I had was God, because he he led me out of that storm and he brought me to the light. The purpose of Lake coming here to train is to make him healthier than he's ever been. It's also to put him in a competitive environment around other guys that are preparing for the same exact goal he's preparing for. And to put him in a, a very structured setting. He's getting all these things in one place, which will ultimately make Lake Seastrunk the best athlete he possibly can be. I have a lot of great attributes. I'm just not just a running back. I can catch. I can block. You can throw me out wide, kick return, punt return, and I'm happy that, you know, guys give me the opportunity to take my talents to the next level. When you have the want to do something and you're really motivated to do something, a lot of times if you're put in the right environment, you're going to be very successful. And I felt that if I got Lake in this environment, he was going to really thrive in it. When I don't have anything left, I keep pushing. I find something that's going to drive me to, to keep pushing. Are you going to break down? Are you going to quit? You're going to give up, and one thing he has figured out, I do not give up. And these workouts aren't easy. They're not easy at all. And when he's fighting for that last rep or fighting for five more seconds, he really digs deep and draws from the things he's been through in his life to help motivate him to get through these workouts. I am so much faster, so much explosive than i ever seen in my, my years of just playing ball, football, period. You can't just get satisfied once you get there. you got to keep going. Jay Rice never took a day off. Jim Smith never took a day off. Ray Lewis never took a day off. That's why they played so much. That's why they were respected. If I have kids one day, I can tell them this is, this is what your dad did.